My name is Sian and I live in South London uh, and I'm 29. I'm primarily a musician, uh, both a classical musician and an alternative musician, but I also write and I teach and I've been doing sort of LGBTI and feminist activism since I was a little wee tiny person. So I prefer pronouns which are neither male nor female. Um, I use the singular plural, which is they. I, you know, I, I really do believe that, that every single person has a unique vantage point on their own body, their own, for want of a better word, soul, their mind, how all of those connect. There cannot be a binary of genders because really it's more like a constellation, every single person. And that doesn't mean that those people can't be men and women. You know, that might well be something that fits them very well and they, they can say, this is what man means to me or this is what woman means to me and this will tell you more about me if I use this word to describe myself. And in the same way, if I use the word genderqueer to describe myself, I feel that's helping people know that for me, men and women are not terms that are comfortable to me. As a very nerdy kid, I just went to the library and ordered lots of books on things and read Kate Bornstein and Leslie Feinberg and went, okay, transgender, that's a word that makes sense for me. I really like this and that's really good and had this sneaking sensation in the back of my head going, I think I'm going to get top surgery at some point, but was quite frightened about it. The only stories I read about trans men taking testosterone said that they'd lost, uh, lost their voices entirely. And that just wasn't an option. I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to think about how that would work. Started to explore things more, and then my brother was diagnosed with cancer, and everything just else, everything else in my life went on hold. We didn't have a terminal verdict at first, so it was really putting all that energy into supporting him through this illness, and and just having an amazing time going to rock gigs together because my brother and I were soulmates. Just before my 21st birthday and just before his 21st, he passed away, uh, which was the worst thing <laughs> uh, that's happened in my life. And there have been some pretty bad things that have happened in my life, and that was definitely the worst. I almost felt that after that, I just had to grab everything I could in my life with both hands and just really try and make it as honest and as joyful as I could. Um, so it was a year after that, I had top surgery. I honestly, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life and I wish I'd known enough when I was 16 to have not been frightened and just done it at 18. I genuinely think that every single person has the ability to change the world because every person can leave the world a better place than the way they found it. Everyone is an untold story and you'll never know it unless you take the time to listen and that's what I want to do. I think if I can live my life in a way where I make the best art that I can make and after I've died, people go, actually, they made the world a bit better than the world they, they were born into. That's totally the goal. That would be amazing.